In this web clip, I will demonstrate how to use the conformation hunt and alignment features in Flare to align a set of molecules to a reference. I will then visually inspect the aligned molecules to interpret any structure activity relationships that may exist. Flare features the ability to perform conformation hunts and ligand based alignments on molecules as a way of making meaningful comparisons across chemical series. I have opened PDB Entry 5CEO in Flare and prepared the ligand and protein structures. The ligand is a potent and selective dual leucine zipper kinase, or DLK inhibitor, but it has poor physical chemical properties, leading to high free unbound clearance. It features an intramolecular interaction between the aminopyridine CH and the pyridine core nitrogen, which maintains its rigidity. It binds to the protein via two H-bonds to cysteine-193. I have a set of six DLK inhibitors for which I have activity data that I will align using the 5-CEO ligand as a reference molecule. Firstly, I will read in the file containing the DLK inhibitors by dragging and dropping it onto the FLIR GUI. I'll instruct FLIR to protonate the ligands, then click Open to load the file. I am warned that the ligands are not 3D, but this can be rectified by doing a conformation hunt at the same time as the alignment, so I'll hit yes to all to load the ligands. I will now set up the conformation hunt and the alignment by ensuring all the ligands are selected, going to the ligand tab and hitting the conf hunt and align button. I will specify the reference ligand and include the prepared 5CEO protein as an excluded volume not considering any water molecules. I will view the advanced settings by hitting the Show Options button, where I will disable the Turn Off Coulombic and Attractive van der Waals Forces tick box. Doing this will ensure that intramolecular interaction is retained in the generated conformations. I will accept the other default settings and hit Start. The alignment experiment contains two steps. Firstly, the comparison molecules must be conformationally populated. Next, each conformation is aligned to the reference molecule using 3D field point patterns. Each alignment is scored using 50% field similarity and 50% shape similarity. The alignment has completed, so I will move the aligned ligands to a new row called Aligned. The SIM column in the ligands table contains the alignment similarity score, which is a value between 0 and 1. It quantifies how similar the overlay molecule is to the reference molecule based on field points and shape. If I show the field points using the fields button in the home tab, we can see that clusters of positive and negative field points are grouped together, explaining why the molecules have been aligned in the way that they have. If I switch to grid mode, I can compare the aligned molecules and their activities to establish which features might be contributing to activity. If I compare molecule 1 with molecule 2, it's clear that substituting the pyridine with an isopropyl increases the activity. If I compare molecule 3 with molecule 4, it's clear that the larger pyrrolidine substitute on the core pyrimidine is favoured over the methyl. Finally, changing the methyl in molecule 5 to a cyclobutyl ether group in molecule 6 increases activity yet further. It seems that the presence of a comparatively bulky substituent at the 2 position on the core is favoured in terms of activity. I can generate molecular surfaces for some of my aligned molecules and compare them to that of the reference ligand by hitting the mole button and selecting atom. On closer inspection, the molecular surface of the most active molecule, which is ligand 6, is the most similar to the reference molecule in terms of shape. I can also compare the electrostatic fields for each ligand by turning off the molecular surfaces and activating the positive and negative electrostatic field buttons. Areas where the electrostatic field is positive are coloured red, while negative is coloured blue. It is clear that the electrostatic fields for the most active DLK ligand are most similar to the reference molecule. Contact us today to evaluate FLIR.